Hey there, Eric O'Sullivan, Reverend Sully, ordained on the internet. The caveat, as always, please do not burn your hands holding on to my hot takes. If you do, well, that's on you, pal, or gal, or anywhere in the grand spectrum of humanity that you reside in and identify with. A uh, quick one today. I just wanted to do something pop culture-like because uh, I, I'm a pop culture station. Uh, I like pop culture. I love movies. Oh, God, I love movies. You should see in my living room. I've got uh, shelves of DVDs and Blu-rays. I, I buy them still. And, um, yeah, I'm actually like, okay, I love ninja movies. I'm trying to assemble all the available Shokashogi ninja movies of the 80s on DVD or Blu-ray. And it's like, so I get like Nine Deaths of the Ninja is on the list and it's out of print and I can get it used for like $44, $50. I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait till that comes down a bit if it does. You know, something like that. But I love movies from great movies, Criterion versions. You get it at home with, with great documentary over, you know, overlays such as like Seven Samurai or Tarkovsky's Solaris and Stalker. I mean, just to, not only to rewatch these movies, but to have commentary tracks that are so enriching. Um, I love movies. And guess what came out today? Um, or yesterday, rather, um, is are the Oscar nominations for twenty the 2022 Oscar nominations. So the movies of 2021. And uh, we're going to do an Oscar video. Yeah, why not? Sounds fun. All right. I love movies. I only saw three movies last year. Remember? <laughs> Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> I love that. And um, I've only... Okay, the movies that I watched this year, the new movies... Well, actually, four. Come on, you know, I watched four movies this year. Four new movies this year. Uh, Matrix... Uh, 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 resuscitations. Um, uh, 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 Matrix Revisions. No, it's Matrix of Reborn. Did, did. Uh, Matrix Resurrections. Right. Is that it? Uh, the new Matrix movie. Yeah. Um, it was fine. Yeah. I saw Dune 2021. Denis Villeneuve. That got 10 nominations. Um, I saw The Many Saints of Newark which is the Sopranos uh, prequel movie, and Spider-Man, No Way Home, which I'm so still impressed that nobody's spoiling those major plot points, even right now. I mean, any given Monday, you can get spoiled on Walking Dead or Invincible or uh, any show. I mean, with Book of Boba Fett. I mean, anything. There people have, like... People do have a sense of honor still and the proof of the pudding on that plate is called those story beats in spider-man no way home still i mean it is not certain things about that movie don't get talked about and that uh, that i'm aware of and i'm glad that like overall that movie hasn't been spoiled for anyone so yeah those were my f the four movies so out of the 10 best picture um i haven't seen any i saw one one nomination is uh, Villeneuve's, Villeneuve's Dune. Uh, there's Belfast, Coda, uh, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story, which I think is going to win. Uh, why? Because it's the same reason when we get to the best actor. Um, it's sometimes it's, it's about Hollywood respecting itself as a culture um it's not necessarily what's the best movie it's about the be it's it's about something hollywood and they hollywood takes these awards very seriously they really do howard stern one time uh warned chris rock he said i don't think your sense of humor is going to fit with that like you know how you know the oscars are a very serious occasion they take this very seriously and chris rock later on that year pretty much got you know you know, raked over the coals for his uh, irreverence that fell flat with its uh, uh, with the crowd. And um, 
So yeah, I think Best Picture will go to West Side Story this year because why? Because Spielberg's do. He's a Spielberg. Uh, this is probably his last hurrah, and it's. Um, I hear it's a beautiful movie, and um, it, yeah, every a, any like arguments not notwithstanding, uh, it's just it has the it has pedigree, and um, I haven't seen it. I'm not going to see it. Um, I just I, I don't know. I haven't. I don't think I've watched the original um, since childhood. I have not watched West Side Story in my adult life. I can tell you that much. And I like musicals. I saw Hamilton in Chicago in 2017. Mm. That was worth every penny. We had 22 rows up from the stage. That was a great show. Um, but let's get back to it. So yeah, I think that West Side Story is going to win the best picture. Um, I, I'm not thrilled with the enhanced field. Uh, five, it should be less. It should be four. Have four nominees. I mean, this is supposed to be best of the best. This like reeks of the the whole idea of like uh, the participation trophy. Hey, you participated. Um, you got included. Here you are. Here's your trophy. I got one. I was like 1984, and it was Little League, and I did cruddy. I don't know why I won a, an award. Maybe it's because it's like you get it in the price with the hat and the T-shirt, and that's the thing. You know what I mean? You're, 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 you're just the initiation. You get a hat. You get a T-shirt. You know, like it was the Farm League. You know, <laughs> I didn't make it up to the level where they actually had stirrup socks and in jerseys and you know and sliding pants you know stuff like that all right back to the movies actress in a supporting role just to let you know i'm reading this from uh cnn and um yeah the, it's just the cnn you know entertainment yeah it's just the list of them so i mean that that's my source quoting my sources okay Actress in a supporting role, Jessica Buckley, Lost Daughter, Ariana DeBose, West Side Story, Judy Dench, Belfast, Christian Dunst, Power of the Dog, Aujone, uh, Anjune, Anjune Ellis, um, King Richard. Um, no opinion. I don't. I haven't seen any of these movies. Uh, actor in a supporting role. Uh, I'll just skip over that too. Um, I haven't seen any of these movies. Good luck to good luck to anyone in the field. You have a decent field of five nominees which I think is just a lot uh, respectable and more decent. International feature film. Uh, I haven't seen any of these movies. Um, good luck to you all. Uh, documentary short. I haven't seen any of these movies. Good luck to you all. Documentary. I love documentaries. I, I'm going to, like, you know, just say it's Summer of Souls on this, and that's the one I wanted to see and I regretted not seeing. So I'll put my, I'll put my vote for Summer of Soul because I love soul music original song i heard billy eilish got uh, no time to die good for her why not um animated feature film I haven't seen i haven't seen encantado and Encan and canto and canto and i would t and i know that latino slant Polly would want me to, and mexican iron man would probably want me to watch that movie um i'll get to it and i will um let's see adapted screenplay we got coda drive my car dune the Lost Daughter and The Power of the Dog. The Power of the Dog, I haven't seen, but that seems to be getting a lot of attention. And uh, Dune, it um, that was a really well adapted from the book. I'm a huge fan of Dune. I am. I, I, I've, for me, Dune is um, the six original books by Frank Herbert. I love them. I adore them. Um... Yeah, I almost one of my next tattoos. I was gonna get Arabic. I was gonna say Harak al Ada, which means breaker of the habit, and that's what Faradin Carino gets renamed by Leto II uh, when he chooses a side, the right side. <laughs> he chose on the right side of history. Uh, best of, okay, so I'll say Dune on that, but the power of the dog's probably gonna win that too because I don't think that the the actor is gonna win and uh, he. Cause, get another nomination original screenplay you got belfast don't look up king richard's licorice pizza and the worst person in the world i haven't seen any of these movies but 
Um, I will say that well, King Richard is a biopic, and it's charming. And people like those kind of movies. Movies, Licorice Pizza. I feel like I have seen um, because I'm a YouTuber and I watch a lot of YouTube. And that is that advertisement is in serious rotation. And I love that Bowie song, so I kind of don't get sick of it. And you know what? I do find Alana Haim a little hot, and it's you know she's young, but. She's a normal, healthy, beautiful Jewish girl. I mean, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I mean, she's, she, she, she looks like she's a lot of fun. She rocks. She's got a lot of energy, man. Um, I'm surprised she didn't get nominated, too. Why not? I mean, because she's up and coming. It's like, you know, wouldn't that be cool? Uh, here we go for uh, Best Actor and Best um, Actress. And we no longer call it Best Actor. It's Actor in a Leading Role and Actress in a Leading Role. So... I guess, you know, best reeks of hierarchy. Is that it? I am not getting touching that conversation. We got Javier Bardem and being in the Ricardos, Benedict Cumberpatch and the power of the dog. You got Andrew Garfield and Tick Tick Boom. You got Will Smith and King Richard, Denzel Washington and the tragedy of Macbeth. Okay, I'm going to say Will Smith's going to win the Oscar. Why? He's due. For the same reason why. I love Denzel. Okay, but. Do you know why Denzel... Okay. Do you know why I feel that Denzel won the um, the Oscar for Training Day? Was because of uh, Philadelphia and Remember the Titans. I, I On a scale from 1 to 10, I guess I would give Training Day a 6. I mean, it was a fine movie. I mean, I just didn't like it. It wasn't my cup of tea. And but it was a perfectly good movie. I like Antoine Fuqua's work. He, I loved The Equalizer one. I haven't seen two, but I love Denzel and and, and Fuqua. You know, Fuqua's a he, he's he makes real movies. You know, and um, but I feel though that um, because like Training Day was like the it movie. You don't know, but Denzel got passed over for uh, for Philadelphia and for Remember the Titans, and I just. If that's the those are the wins you get along the way or the losses you get along the way that culminate in getting it and so like I don't know I don't think that you know let's look up real quick training day when did that come out 2001 all right Training Day, the Academy Awards, 2000, uh, Academy Awards, 2001, Best Actor, Noms, Nominees, yes, we're going to look at this list real quick, just to, it was Javier Bardem was, was his competition 21 years ago, 20 years ago as well, and, um, oh, this must be 22, must be 2002. Yeah, okay, that's 2002. And Will Smith was his competition back in 20 years ago as well. Okay, so uh, when Denzel Washington went for training day, um, uh, it was Will Smith and Ali, Sean Penn and I Am Sam, Russell Crowe in A Beautiful Mind, and Tom Wilkinson in, in, the, bed, in the Bedroom. And, um, yeah, I just want to say. He did win. He did win for training day, didn't he? Yeah. I thought so. I don't want to do that. Would have sucked if I was wrong. I misremembered that this far into the <laughs> into the show. Um, but yeah, I think that Will Smith's gonna win because he's due. Uh, everyone else is fine, you know. And uh, and so Benedict Cumberpatch won't win for Power of the Dog. So that's why I think that Power of the Dog will win adapted screenplay over Dune. It's Hollywood. You know, they, 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 it, this is their night. This is, yeah, they put on the glad rags. And, and, and you know what? They have legendary parties afterwards. You ever read The Godfather by Mario Puzo? Uh, you know, it, or is it Puzo? I think it's Puzo because it's no, it, if it's a double Z, they're in the T. So it's Mario Puzo. Yeah, the, the book, The Godfather. I got it on Audible with Joe Mantegna reading it. It's amazing. And we have actress in a leading role. We got Chastain, Jessica Chastain, in the eyes of Tammy Faye. She looked great in that. Olivia Coleman, The Lost Daughter, Penelope Cruz, Parallel Mothers, Nicole Kidman, being the Ricardos, and Kristen Stewart and Spencer. 
I think it's between Coleman and Kidman. Uh, I love Olivia Coleman. She's like, you know, there's, she's amazing. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Olivia Coleman, uh, go look her up. Uh, BBC uh, mainstay for decades, and she's t t totally coming into her own right now. And um, love Olivia Coleman. She would have made a better Doctor Who, but she took this path, and she's going to get an Oscar instead of getting a TARDIS. Uh, best director, Kenneth Branagh for Belfast. Uh, Raisuke Hamaguchi for Drive My Car, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson for Licorice Pizza, Jane Campion for Power of the Dog, and Spielberg for West Side Story. I say Spielberg just because if this is Hollywood's night, and uh, I could be wrong, and um, that's that. Production Design, Dune, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, The Tragedy of Macbeth, and West Side Story. I mean... I probably would give it to West Side Story over Dune, which was Dune was magnificent, but West Side Story is um, it's it's this is Spielberg's year because um, it's his last hurrah. That, I'm just saying that, all right. Cinematography: we got Dune, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, Macbeth, and West Side Story. You might get Dune, you might get West Side Story, you might get Macbeth, um, which looked beautiful. I mean, isn't that a Cohen brother? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, costume design is Cruella, Cyrano, Dune, Nightmare Alley, West Side Story. You might get Cruella on this one. Uh, I mean, that could be the black horse. You know, sometimes, you know, Oscars sometimes surprise. You know that. I know that. Achievement in Sound, Belfast, Dune, No Time to Die, Power of the Dog, or West Side Story. Probably Dune. And because I've experienced Dune, and I wish I experienced Dune in the movie theater and an IMAX with even more of the sound. Uh, animated short, live action short, original score, uh, Don't Look Up, Dune, Encanto, Parallel Mothers, Power of the Dog, maybe Encanto. Visual effects, Dune, Free Guy, No Time to Die, Shang-Chi, and Spider-Man No Way Home. You got two Marvel movies nominated this year uh, for visual effects, but it's going to Dune. Uh, editing, Don't Look Up, Dune, King Richard's Power of the Dog, Tick, Tick, Boom. I've only seen one of these movies. And Makeup and Hairstyling, Coming to America, the sequel, uh, Cruella, Dune, Eyes of Tammy Faye, and House of Gucci. House of Gucci could, because it's the only nominee from Ridley Scott this year, uh, who did two movies. He did uh, the last, um, the last, um, no, what was the name of that one? So yeah, I mean, I got to look that one up. It was like, the the last detail the last samurai the last duel there we go the last duel yeah so um yeah ridley scott's been prolific later in life man he's hasn't i'm impressed i gotta say i really and i really appreciate his last two alien movies as well i mean in hindsight those are pretty darn good movies all right well that's all i got for today for the Oscar nominations at 2022 Oscars of, of the 2021 movies. Um, I am full of crap. I know this much. I've only seen four of these movies. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I saw a few of them, and I do love movies, and maybe it might make me want to go see some of these movies. You know, I still can. I have movie theaters around me. And, um, yeah, let's go out to the movies. I would love to. Um, well, ch thank you so very much for tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this content. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. I'm a big lad. I can handle it. Uh, leave a comment or a question in the comment section. What do you think? Who are your picks? Why don't you make a video and let me know? <laughs> that would be awesome. And um, yeah, I'd like to earn your subscription. I make cooking videos. I have restaurant level cooking hacks with nutritious, delicious, and beautiful food for you to share with your family at your table. Um, my last cooking video, Mango Salsa, has almost uh, 1,700 views. And the one I did before that, the three bean chili, has 1.7k views. And I'm really happy with the traction that those shorts get. And so, yeah, dig, I'm making a playlist of all of my cooking videos so I can share, better share these cooking hacks with you. I'm a spiritual guy, an amateur theologian. I uh, say, let's get spiritual, and we often do. And uh, you're invited to come along for the ride. 
Thank you. So I also make daily content. I make a, I'm doing a 365 days of the golden age of DC comics. And if you like the kind of comic shop talk, um, that you miss by not being there, well, come aboard with me for a few minutes a day and we're going to talk about comic books. All righty. Thank you so very much for tuning in. God bless. Good luck and namaste. Ha <laughs> ha.